what is up you guys so i am back with yet another vlog y'all i know that i've been gone for a minute y'all but let me tell you what as soon as we got back from destin the whole fam was like we was out so i'm back you guys, sports has been killing me. I have been drinking Red Bulls back to back and just thinking of that, y'all, I might need to slow down on it before I burst my freaking heart because I have been crashing with the Red Bulls, y'all. Literally crashing. Like, I've been taking them to stay alive, but at the same point, when it wears off, your girl's dead. I'm dead to the world, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's streaming. So I might need to like, you know, dial back on the Red Bulls for a minute, but that is the only thing that is keeping me going, you guys. The kids, both kids, Sports, sports, sports. I literally only have, we only have about two days off in the week, you guys. So that is it. And other than that, we are ripping and we are running. Got Tonio's physical and stuff done so that he's going to be doing football conditioning this summer. I'm still contemplating if I'm going to put Ari in sports this summer, but I might as well just to keep her busy because, you know what I'm saying, if not, Ari will bug me all summer long, okay? So I might need something to keep her busy. But that's neither here nor there, you guys. I am back now, so that's all that matters, you guys. And do you guys hear anything? Mm? Mm? Do you hear anything? It is peace and quiet, you guys. Peace and quiet. And I'm so, so happy, you guys. I don't have the kids calling my name 50, 11 times. I ain't even got my husband here, y'all. I could just relax. I ain't gotta worry about doing this. I ain't gotta worry about doing that. Your girl's just, <sighs> I finally get the break that I wanted, y'all. Finally. Finally, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, your girl gets a break, which is very rare, you guys. I cannot tell you the last time that I honestly had time to myself. And with being a woman, sometimes you need that time to yourself because if you don't have that time to yourself, you, you're liable to nut the hell up. So yeah, that's what we have on the agenda today, you guys. But first things first, what we're gonna go ahead and do, let me stop babbling on is, we're prepping for my birthday, okay? My birthday's coming up. You know, Taurus season is coming up, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pamper myself since I have this time alone and I don't got nowhere to be. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today, y'all. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and get these nails done. Look at it up. Oh, looks atrocious. You don't need to see all that. Gonna get my nails done. I was gonna get my toes done too, but them boys are still holding on. They still holding on. So why waste the coin? I'm just gonna waste the coin on the manicure. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I also wanna go and see if I can find me a birthday outfit. But the only thing that sucks about that, that I'm really hoping that it does not screw me, is is that with COVID, you guys, they do not let you try on any clothes. But I'm hoping that, you know, maybe it's changed because a lot of stuff has been lifted. Because, you know what I'm saying, I just want to make sure everything fit and tight and right and stuff like that. So that is what we have on the agenda today, you guys. I hope you guys all enjoy this vlog. Be sure to like, comment, hit the subscribe button, ding that notification bell, give this video a thumbs up for your girl, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So let's go. Bye. Hi, Abby. I was going to see if I can get a, a fill-in, an acrylic fill-in. 515. Oh, I was trying to see if I could come at 4. So there's nothing available at 4? Okay. Have a good day. Bye. You too. Bye. Oh, there's no way that I can wait till 515. I need them done now, okay? Because that's like two hours out the way. Let me see if I can call somebody else. So, uh, about 5, we'd be done. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot for 4. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. She didn't even get my name. All right, so even though I'm like, let me put my seatbelt, hold up. Hold up. Yeah. <coughs> all right, y'all, so I'm about, I'm probably gonna be about 15 minutes early, but that's how I am with like all my appointments. I try to make sure I'm at least 10, 15 minutes early. Don't ask me why I do that. That's just something that I do. It's like embedded in my brain that, hey, so 10 to 15 minutes early because it could be traffic, it, it could be anything. You know what I'm saying? You never know, it could be anything. Oh my god, y'all. And then the bad part is, even though my birthday is coming up on the 10th of May, y'all, I have to get um, a freaking, I gotta go get a root canal retreatment, you guys. So I'm really hoping that does not make my whole face swollen for my birthday. So I'm not really sure. I'm really nervous because I thought the guy who previously did my root canal, well, you know, I should have known something was wrong because as soon as he did my root canal, my mouth started hurting like a week later and it was not getting any better or anything like that. But the guy wouldn't do it over. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna go to an endodontist and I have an appointment a couple of days before my birthday and I'm just hoping that, you know what I'm saying, everything goes good. I don't have to lose my tooth because I like my teeth. And yeah, you know, I never got braces or anything like that, you guys, so everything's fine. But yeah, I guess there's something going on like down in the gum area where it's, um, I don't know, maybe the guy didn't do the root canal right or something like that. Obviously he, 
he didn't do it right if I gotta get a retreatment, right? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I had to get that done and evidently it wasn't looking too good on the x-ray, so I had to go to an endodontist, so yep. Hopefully, you know, that goes out all good. I might go ahead and vlog that as well, you guys, and um, pull you guys back up. I might make this like two, three days or something like that because I wanna see what's gonna happen when I go to the endodontist. Like, am I gonna be good or am I gonna be toothless? Like, I don't know, I don't know. More money. All right, you guys, so I just finished getting my nails done. So right now I'm in my mom's driveway and I'm getting ready to get out to go um, get her so that we can go find this birthday outfit. But yeah, I got my nails done. It's like a purple color with like this like butterfly on it or whatever. It's okay. But I can honestly tell you guys, I haven't really found like a nail tech that I really, really like just love. Like that's like the yin to my yang. I've yet to find her like or him, but I don't know. Every time I get my nails done, I don't want to sound like biased or anything like that. But I feel like every time I get it done, this is why I stopped getting my nails done because I don't feel like I get the consistency that I want like or maybe it's because i be going to like they set me up with the guys and the guys just do a different job than like the women i think that i'm just gonna ask for like a female nail tech and just you know hope they don't take offense to that or whatever like that because sometimes i feel like the guys don't really pay attention to like detail like a woman would and stuff like that like the nails are fine but i feel like they could be better and then one thing that i don't really like and why i don't like getting my nails done and going to nail salons is because um i'm gonna hopefully i could keep this up but probably not for long but the, the, you feel like you're you're being rushed like when they start getting like a ton of people in there It's like I feel like they try to do like rush job and stuff like that And if you're paying money, it's like yo take your time with my nails You know what I'm saying don't be rushing me because there's people coming in through the door You know what I'm saying I understand that but I don't know like right now I feel like I just got these done and I don't feel like they're like as glossy as I want them But you know what I'm saying it, it is what it is. They're nice. They'll do for right now If I don't like them for my birthday, I'll just turn around and just get like another color or something like that and just go somewhere else but i don't literally been to about four or five different salons and i've yet to find one that i'm absolutely in love with yet hopefully that will come but let me go y'all i don't want to keep doing all this rambling and go get my mama stuff hopefully whenever i find my own birthday outfit you know what i'm saying girl feel a little bit better and stuff like that Ugh. so i'm gonna pull y'all back up bye all right, you guys, so unfortunately, I have not found anything to work for my birthday yet. I went to two stores. I have not found anything, so I don't even really know what I'm going to do. So this, this pretty much was like a bust, you guys, because I didn't find what I was looking for. I didn't see nothing that screamed like, oh, hey, birthday girl. Oh, look at her. You know what I'm saying? I didn't find anything like that. So I don't know, you guys. I might go ahead and pull you guys back up, and I might just conclude this vlog and pull y'all back up whenever I go to like another store because this just ain't it. This ain't it at all, and I'm not finding what I'm wanting. And it's frustrating your girl. You know what I'm saying? Birthday, tour season is coming amongst us and I haven't found crap yet. <laughs>